Welcome to this interview of the Gateway House Career Series. Today we have with us Rajni Bakshi. Rajni is the Gandhi Peace Fellow at Gateway House and a Mumbai-based author. She published a research paper in October 2012 titled Civilizational Gandhi. Rajni has a BA from George Washington University and an MA from the University of Rajasthan. She is the author of Bazaar's Conversations and Freedom for a Market Culture Beyond Greed and Fear, which won two Vodafone Crossword Awards. Her earlier book, Bapu Kuti, Journeys in Rediscovery of Gandhi, inspired the Hindi film Swades, starring Shah Rukh Khan. Rajni serves on the boards of Child Rights and You and Citizens for Peace. She is also a member of the executive committee of the Gandhi Smriti and Darshan Samiti, an autonomous body under the Ministry of Culture and a long-term associate of Center of Education and Documentation. Welcome, Rajni. How do you look back on your career today? Can you explain your career trajectory to us? Well, first of all, I'm not sure I've had a career uh, because I've always thought of myself as having a vocation rather than a profession. And the difference between the two is that somehow a profession is something that you pursue with some amount of aggressive ambition and a lot of strategizing and planning. Whereas a a vocation is more like a craft and you journey along uh, following your instinct basically uh, and not running any races. So that's how mostly I have, uh, you know, lived my life and been very blessed uh, because in spite of dropping out of full-time journalism after about four years of, uh, you know, being a reporter, or a correspondent for a newspaper. I have been in the freelance world, but uh, the range of uh, things that I've been able to do uh, has been really quite uh, a blessing. And so I feel very lucky. Um, And I know that this is the, this, this freedom which I've enjoyed from routine is what actually allowed me to write books like Bapu Kuti and then later Bazaar's Conversations and Freedom. Speaking of Bapu Kuti, which inspired the Hindi film Swades, could you tell us a little more about it and some of the other books you have authored and how you went about researching them? Uh, well, Bapu Kuti uh, is a book that uh, really called to be written because I had met many of these people in the activist world over about 15 years from 85 onwards, um, well less than 15 years actually. Uh, and uh, in over the course of time, I began to see a pattern among many of these, uh, linking many of these activists. And uh, so I started work on it actually in about uh, 93 or 94. And then it wasn't coming together. I had, I, I had uh, been uh, very privileged to be given the Prabhadat Memorial Fellowship. And I used that money to travel and meet people. And I organized my notes, but somehow uh, it wasn't coming together. So I didn't push it, I didn't force it. And I just let it sit for a while. And the while became almost three years. Uh, And then uh, sometime in about 97, I began to, I sat back again to write and it all began to flow. And then I, uh, after I had written about two chapters, I approached Penguin and the basis of, and on the basis of those two chapters, they gave me the contract for the book, which was uh, at that time quite unusual because this kind of nonfiction is something that Penguin had just begun to do at that time in 97. And then the book was published in 98. Could you tell us a little more about Bazaar's Conversations and Freedom? Yeah, but before that, I just want to mention that uh, the Bapu Kuti book had been out for about four years or five years when uh, the movie Lagan came out. And I was so impressed by the whole way in which that story had been handled. And I read interviews with Ashutosh Gowarikar that I decided that uh, I must go and meet him and give him a copy of Bapu Kuti, like a, you know what kids say about birthday parties, like a back present. And that was the beginning of a great collaboration uh, because it so happened that he was thinking of doing another film which was very much in the same spirit. And so that's how Bapu Kuti went 
went on to get inspirational credit in Swades, which was then made by Ashutosh Gowarikar. I think it came out in 2005 or something or four. Uh, the Bazaar's book was also a journey. It wasn't a book that was written because I should write a book. Uh, I had been uh, asking sort of the next questions at the next level of complexity after a Bapu Kuti. Uh, and the basic question that I came to focus on was that all this grassroots activism is very wonderful, but how can it ever add up to anything as long as the market system remains what it is? And so then I became very curious about the history of the market. How long has this idea of the market as we know it today been around? What does it mean? What are some of the ways in which it is being resisted? Uh, and so that's where the journey of uh, this inquiry into the nature and the present and the future of markets began. And uh, I put together a proposal. I applied for the Homi Baba Fellowship. And I was very lucky and very privileged that, you know, they decided to give it to me. And I still remember that in the interview, they asked me, why should we give this to you? You're not an economist. Uh, I mean, for this topic, why should we give you a fellowship? And I said, that's why you should give it to me, because it needs to be done by someone who's not an economist. And uh, the rest is, I'm happy to say, history. So Rajni, what does being the Gandhi Peace Fellow at Gateway House entail? Um, could you elaborate on some of your key ideas or areas of focus? So this is uh, uh, a space in Gateway House which is actually quite wide and multidimensional. We look at first of all the question of non-violence and uh, we don't define non-violence simply as absence of violence or absence of war. Uh, I mean, that is absence of physical violence. To us, peace means active well-being, not just absence of physical violence. So therefore, the entire spectrum of sustainability-related issues, the whole uh, overlap or conflict, depending on the situation between environment and business, society and business, lay, you know, labor and business, profit versus people, and the whole uh, gamut of uh, issues where business and society and markets and society are intersecting and new equations are trying, are, you know, are being formed. All of this is part of my uh, domain at Gateway House. Um, and the, in a sense, the overarching um, topic or issue is uh, you could call it nation building because we approach this whole issue of business and society and environment and non-violence in the context of the mission of building India uh, as a just and equal nation. And finally, what advice would you give to students looking to pursue a career path that is similar to yours? Oh dear. <laughs> um, well, the first is that I think you have to have faith. Uh, I don't know how many people who are watching this video would have heard of Sister Nivedita. She was one of Swami Vivekananda's disciples. And there's a quotation which I found in her collected works, which I think captures it in a nutshell. Uh, Thy place in life is seeking after thee. Be thou at rest from seeking after it. So the f that means you have to anchor yourself in a basic, uh, confidence in your search so for, of course that means you have to have a search uh, because uh, if all you want to do is you know earn enough money to go to the movies and uh, party in the evening then uh, that's easy to organize and that you can do in multiple ways but if you have a search that is if you are looking for a work or a job or a profession that will give meaning to your life and that your meaning giving meaning to your life is a way of con connecting yourself with the world around you. Um, or rather, I would say that when you connect yourself with the world around you, you give greater meaning to your life. Then the most important thing is to follow your instinct um, and be very, very uh, diligent and hardworking in terms of the discipline of um, 
whatever riyaz i don't know now what is the english for riyaz um whatever practice you choose if it is just like a singer has to get up every morning and practice or dancers have to you know pra- practice on a daily basis so in that sense whether you're a writer or a researcher uh you have to build that practice be diligent about that and uh, trust your instinct and uh, look for the out of the ordinary look for the out of the box opportunities and and in some cases when you do that you will create your own opportunities uh because there are the the easy track is always sort of uh, as we say somewhat one dimensional uh but if you want greater adventure and fulfillment uh, then it's uh, good sometimes you know to step off the track and wander off into the uncharted territory that's usually gives very fruitful life and experience thank you very much rajini for taking the time to speak no, with me thank us. you nice to meet all of you if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to post them in the comments below and don't forget to follow us on facebook twitter soundcloud and youtube Thank you.